Well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero. Brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullsh. Hello, this is a Maximum 347 for another video month into the world. Oh boy. Yep. I said I was going to do it and now I'm going to show it off. Me doing the final optional quest in the game once you meet and rank, once you reach the hunter rank of 100. Once you've done that, then basically you talk to the captain right here and hear and pretty much tell you about the mission. You have to fight not one, not two, but three Elder Dragons who are tempered. All three of them. Yep. Really brutal. Even the handler talks to you a little bit during it just to prove how brutal this fight, fight can be. Well, a little bit anyway. But let me tell you a bit which my setup. Uh, my equipment and all that. Uh, go to equipment info. Basically, I'm, using, I'm basically using a charge blade. I've had a lot of practice with this, and uh, basically, I finally get what people are selling to me. The charge blade is pretty awesome, especially the Diablos Tyrannus 2. Basically, it has that minus 30% crit, which seems bad. But here's the thing when it comes to using fire damage, Fire damage is basically purely to do with your physical attack. The attack, um, the attack up there, it actually says to attack, it has um, 965. The original that was in 28, but I'll tell you more about that, how I got that high a bit later. But basically, fires, um, if it doesn't really affect fire damage, it's just purely attack power. So at my 30 affinity, you could say the trick to try and ward you off, but the average weapons in general are the best for just ward damage. Because they do so much damage, it's ridiculous. And some, and I think they, I'm not sure of all of them, but some, all of them have, um, have um, a defense bonus too, plus 15%. So that means I have extra defenses. Also, if they only use a physical attack, it also is less likely chance of be getting hit by it, which is pretty sweet. So that bonus. Yeah, uh, you're probably wondering why I do it as like a start upgrade. It's not even really a thing at the time being. It's true, I could have increased my attack power or decreased the affinity, but. I oh, you need an extra start for the set I'm using, so that's why. But now I'll tell you about the other equipment. So we'll talk about the Diablos, which is a great um, blade. Impact fire damage is great. But the Basil Helm and uh, the Basil Coil, those are there just for earplugs. I love earplug 4, and I would have an earplug. F I would have a level 3 gem and an earplug decoration, so that boosts up to max, which means I'm completely immune to all monster wars. Perfect for when I want to launch my attack against a monster, but not get interrupted by its war, or get stunned there long enough for it to hit me, because that can happen. So that's where the earbuds come in. Power prolonger. What that does, actually, the description right here, uh, right here, allows long swords, dual blade, insect blades, switch axes, and charge blades to stay powered up longer. So basically, when I um, charge my shield, it stays charged up for longer. That's what it means, which is great. They're absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Allow me to do even more um, um, amped um, um, supercharged attack, which is awesome. So, yep. Focus. Uh, it was just here because I needed a two. I needed a level two start and one level start. But focus basically it decreases the amount of charge time. Increases the fill weight of weapons with gorges and charge and the charge weight for weapons with charge attacks. So basically the set speed set let me use charge attack sooner or let me um recharge attack sooner. So uh there's never really a finger at the time being with that. And capacity boost. If I had a decoration for capacity boost, I wouldn't even use these. That is literally the only reason these exist. It's just for an extra capacity boost. What this does is that um it increases the blade fire capacity and the uh, gun damage capacity by one. So that means when I unleash all of them at once, it does even more damage potentially. <laughs> so uh, yeah, an artillery charm is there because well, you can't have a charge blade of artillery charm. It's just insane because basically when you use up your uh, fire, it increases the attack power of each set by thirty percent, which is awesome. And then um, we even fire quite a fifty percent. It's great if you're using the gun lance. So uh, that means you can use that more often as well. But here's the one that you really want to use, non-elemental boost. 
raise the attack for an elemental weapon. But wait, there's an element there, isn't there? We look at the Tyranos, there's ice. But as you see, it's greyed out. That is a hidden element. If you're f using weapon with a hidden element, then it counts as an elemental weapon. I've had already talked about this, but I can't stress enough that if you have an elemental weapon and you have an element that's decoration, which by the way, aren't very hard to come by. I've actually gotten quite a few. They're not hard to get, actually. So, and they can't be just because I'm super lucky, because I know my luck is terrible. So, <laughs> if you like me to get a few, you should be able to get a few few enough as well. But they're really good. So, it's a pretty good decoration. Now, let's rest with the decoration, some resistance. Pretty much, you do not want to get stunned when fighting Elder Dragons, especially Tempered ones. Plus, it's pretty much every monster in the game, mod monster in the game, can stun you at some point, and you don't want that because you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm going to make mistakes. I don't want that to cost me, but let me run around all stunned and, and stuff, so screw that. So, yep, no way. That's why I have that one. Health boost, just with maximum health. I found that having more health seems better than having more defenses overall. So, having more health is protects you from overall any sort of attack. So that's why I have that on instead, because, you know, more health. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much mostly it. Oh, wait, no, no. I also have these rocks steady mantle. It's fantastic. It lets you power through attacks without being um, staggered or take damage. It also makes you immune to um, pretty much wind effects, um, tremors, um, howls, um, if I was howling, if I didn't have earplugs, I had this equipped instead, then I'd be immune to that as well. And then you get hit, it damage takes, is reduced, but you don't get staggered or anything, so you can just power through the attack. Perfect if a monster is enraged. Actually, I just have a 30 mantle, which negates the fixed amount of damage that enemy does. But, I think, but I'm going to change that to something else. Um, when I'm fighting Teostra, he is one of the other dragons. I'm going to put the fireproof mantle for obvious reasons. <laughs> because it's Teostra and he just likes bursting the flames. <laughs> and mostly my item setup. Uh, cool drink, obviously, for when I'm fighting Teostra in those hot areas. Flash parts, fantastic. But also flash bugs. This means that when a monster goes away and stuff, I don't have to waste time going back to my camera making flash bugs in there and take them out of my inventory box. I'm just to make them right here in the field and add them straight in. I don't want to add them in the middle of a fight because then that means I might be vulnerable and stuff unless this monster is staggered or stunned or if I find a good place to hide. But if it's monsters flying away, that's when you want to use the flash pods. Also, Mega Demon Drink and Mega Armor Skin. These actually last for the entirety of um, of the. F These last pretty much forever until you get killed. Yeah, they, they don't run out. And like other stat boosts, they run out a little bit. The minute you drink these, you always get an increase in defense and attack, which is perfect against Zelda Dragons. Fantastic. Because um, I've been fighting for was like half an hour, like 50 minutes, and I still have this effect on. So that's fantastic too. And these just in case I get killed and I can just pull up and restore my health. But I usually use these at the start so that way um, I don't have to waste these until later on. And I guess these if I want to do multiplayer, they're just there, just in case. Ah, oh, but here we go. These I always have. Okay, now the thing is you can buy a power charm and an armor charm from the vendor. They cost quite a bit, but um, just having them increases your defense and attack a little bit. But here's the thing, you can upgrade them by using the Basil Geese Talon to a Power Talon and an Armor Talon, which in pretty much lets you have more, even more defenses. But here's the thing, you can't have two of these or two of these or whatever of the same, but you can have one of this, one of this, one of this, and one of this. These stack because they are different. Having all four of these always in the inventory means you can have increased attack and defenses. Very nice. So, yeah, and quite frankly, if you're not going to use a space for anything else, it might as well be to increase your attack and defense anyway. So, yeah, what the heck. So, you're probably wondering, why is using like an Elder Sea weapon? These are Elder Dragons, why are you using the Elder Sea? Well, I found out that I just want to do as much damage as possible to monster weather and just get me down rage mode. Also, lastly, the p practice, practice, practice with whatever weapon you're using. 
Fight Elder Dragons off screen. Fight Tempered Elder Dragons off screen if you have any investigations until you know how they work so you feel more confident. Even so, I'm still probably going to get hit or maybe even get killed a few times. But you want to do so you want practice on this because, well, I'm fighting three of them. And I only have 50 minutes to do them all, so you know, I, I, I can't dilly dally. <laughs> but, um, okay then, let's do this. Also, I'm going to do this solo. Yes, you heard me. I am doing this solo because I am insane. <laughs> also, the fact I tr oh, whoops, wrong button. Also, I tried doing this with randoms, and it never used to work out well. So that's why I want to try and do it solo. This isn't going to be perfect. I'm not doing with some amazing time or anything. But uh, I should get eventually. Here we go. The Sapphire Stars Guidance. So the unparalleled hunter. I offer this final quest: return to the Elves' recess and brave the Elves' onslaught. Use all within your grasp to prove yourself master of the new world. One, so that really interrupts me. And you want to go to this camp first if you pretty much unlocked it, because it goes in this order. Um, see the monster, it goes with orders from left to right. So fight deal with, so you fight him, deal with first, tear for a second, and Nergagante third. Personally, Nergagante is actually the easiest. Even though he does have a powerful attacks, he actually has the weakest amount of health. I think Dior is actually the toughest because you can, if you're not lucky or something, you can go on for a while and you don't want that. I, when I find Teostra, and it doesn't really take as long as I thought it would, that's why I go to Fire Proof Mantle, no Gonti, so that's why. So it depends on our time too. I might cut it close, who knows, but you know. Also remember that if you are going to do this in multiplayer, that the monsters do get tougher and stuff. But because of I'm free of them, their health is reduced, even though they're tempered. So it isn't like they have the max amount of health, so thank goodness for that. <laughs> okay, I've talked on enough. And I'm going to use a voucher too. The Rock Steady Mantle is mostly for like when he goes to his wind modes, and but he has so much wind protection that I can't even go near him. The Rock Steady Mantle can get through that and I can just come with the onslaught. The trick with my charge blade is try and get the most powerful attack on as quickly as possible. Oh, so don't forget you can, you know, don't forget you can also use your charged sword. I'm going to use that too, so that way I can do um, file damage. Also, when you ch also when you charge your sword during the sword and shield mode, it has the mind's eye, which means I can go through enemies. I can, I can hit any part of a monster, including parts which are usually um, unhittable or something. Oh, really? No health boost. Ah, screw it. I just use a max potion when I get to it, but I want that defense boost. There we go. Alright then. Let's do it. But uh, if you do use a Rock Steady Mentor, it takes a long time to recharge, so use it only when you realize you cannot hit the enemy and straight away. Because uh, the other has this windshield. Which makes it does knockback, which just that white sucks, so you don't want that. Alright, it's monster hunting time. I have normal health even though I have even though I got zero increase because I have the um, vitality boosts. So uh where's my max potion? There it is. Uh flash pods. And my uh Nega Demon's armor skin and Nega Demon Drug. There we go. And I'm going to stick the fault for Mega Potions because, well, these dudes guys still do quite a bit of damage, so, yeah. There we are. Okay. Let's do this. Oh boy. Okay, if you know what order them in two, it makes you do the fight a bit faster because you can waste the rest of time running towards them when you don't know where they are. But he's always here, so it also gives you a bit of time to prepare as well in advance. Oh, here we are. If I'm looking, I might get an investigation. There he is, just resting in his laws. Okay. And begin. That's a war.
Oh crap! Wrong move! Damn it! I wasn't gonna do that. Panicking already. Okay. I was trying to charge all into my shield. There we go. Oh. I didn't get that much distance. Oh, come on! <sighs> nope, I'm not dying this quickly. <sighs> oh, jeez. It's, it's a bit of luck, too, unfortunately. If one doesn't, like, cooperate in your way, it sucks, but that's just how it is. Let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> now again, it's died. Oh, he hasn't even flown yet. Ooh. Not like complaining if he's not. Oh! Come on. Oop. Ah! Damn it! Stupid stagger when the wind hits. There we go. Hey, he's not even f hasn't even flown once. Seriously, what's going on? Oh, speak of the devil. And now he's flying. Okay, very important. When he's um, flying in the air, make sure he's outside a tornado. There we go. Oh, come on! What? What was that? Oh, you already have this wind barrier? Uh, I think that was thanks to guard point. Uh. Uh. There we go. Uh. Right. Ooh. There we go. That's more like it. Hmm? Oh. Uh. Nope. Ah, stupid wind. There we go. Ah! Stay still, you bitch! There we go. Yes! Now, if you can just fly towards me, away from that tornado... Yes! That's it! Okay, he landed, but at least not in a tornado now. Again? Come on, fly towards me! Fly towards me! Yes! Oh, come on! You bitch! Why didn't you stay in the air? As you can tell, I hate this fight so much. <laughs> Fucking hate it. So, um, you will see for from vanities for me. I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm gonna swear like a fucking sailor because I hate this fight so much. Oh, damn it! And he's got the wind barrier. Ah! I feel like it barely any damage to him. Of course, off screen and perfectly fucking fine, but. Uh, as you can see, it just pisses me off. I hate me have to fight this guy first. He's so random. He barely even flew in the fucking air. Not what I expected at all. Uh, wait a minute. Nope. Oh. Uh, I need to charge up my uh, saw I'm at it. Good, that's about to run out. Uh, and craft these. God, he only flew like a few times. He usually flies a ton. 
Okay, now for the rock steely mantle. I'm not even aware of this windshield bullshit. Oh, fuck you! Alright. Uh. Yes! Uh, of course, I have him down, but it's when I already turned over my fucking. Uh, just calm down, dude. Let's get this fucking fight over with. I'm gonna warn you now. Ugh. Lots of the mantle is really. Fucking tornadoes. He wasn't like this when I fought him before. Oh, thank you, Watch the Mantle. This is why it's so useful to have. Good, and this time my files fall. Huh? Yes! Oh, actually mounted him! Yes! 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 Okay. Perfect! Even more damage this fucker. Come on. Do the finisher. Wasting time. What? What happened? I just skipped through the finisher. I don't know why he does that sometimes. There we go. Thank you. Urgh. Urgh. You're not going anywhere. Take your fu take take your stubborn like a man, or whatever the fuck you are. Damn it, I was hoping that would, um... Hmm? Come on, fly towards me. Yeah, he's got his wind barrier for now. There we go. Okay, now if we can just land near somewhere else that isn't near this. There we go. Perfect. Uh, this. Oh, it's dead. Fuck you. Alright. That's the most annoying one done. That was much better, actually. I was really stressing out, but actually it was a lot better than I thought. Last time we took about 20 minutes, which is a giant time waster. So the fact managed to go through that quickly, I am very happy with that result. Okay. One down, two to go. Now to refill and pretty much everything. Okay. The next monster is Diola. And he's near around here, so he goes in this cook camp first for a bit of a shortcut. This is your chance to refill and items. Eat again. Can I eat again? Yes I can. Then I guess I will increase my defenses even further. He's a tempered monster, so I won't give him the fences much quicker. There we go. Also, we stock in pretty much everything. Mega potions, I use quite a few. Oh, no, naturally. Uh, yep, I want the uh, fireproof mantle this time. Because uh, this next, because the other, I'm going to go when he um, gets angry, but he actually starts his giant from a fire. You don't want that, so uh, just make sure it doesn't happen. Okay. Or if it does happen, make sure that you at least have uh, the proper defenses to protect yourself, because um, that fire can cast burn and blight. 
Okay then, uh, it usually appears around this part, near the fiery part right here. Okay, first of all, let's uh, get a drink here. Oh, flash bars again. And cool drink. Now, it should appear here soon enough. So, let's do it. As soon as he does, the fight begins in earnest. This is why I want earplugs, I don't want to get distracted or anything. But yeah, you see, this weapon is quite powerful. It does take a time to appear. One thing you can do, actually I should have done actually, was um, you can actually charge your blade on the corpse. I should have done that. Oh man, I was panicking. I'll do that in Diora when I kill him. For when I find Ergante. Yeah, you can do that. You can charge up your weapon and shield straight away. Super quick. I should have done that. Damn it. I should have done that. Yeah, well. Oh. Oh, wow. I think I got a guard point on that. Wow. <laughs> Great. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Oof. Oh. There we go. Uh, I've got to switch my mega potions. So, mega potions, thank you. But that's the normal fire attack, which is alright, but I uh, don't really want that. I want to do as much damage as possible. Oh, what the? What was that? Oh, I was the bomb! Oh, that was close. Oh, there he goes again. There we are. You know. Time for the fireproof mantle. Nice. Did it again. Uh oh. Not enough time. Oh! That you would have killed me if I was fighting a normal one, but because he's smaller, my health is reduced. Combined with a fireproof mantle, I would have been dead. Any discussion? Hmm. It didn't hit me. Okay. That's what I wanted. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it, I was trying to charge my sword. Yeah. Nope, oh, it's gone all raged again. Ooh, yes! That's what I wanted. Oof. If I aim that a little better, I would have used that a bit more instead. Ooh, I did fire damage. Hey, I think I've got Mavericks and Rains to mode. Cool. That's if you do enough damage to the head. Oh. 
Where's he going? Where are you going? He's running away. Over... Where, where, where's he? Oh, he's over there. Alright. It's heal up, buddy. Still with my shield. And my files. Hey, you see that? He's already moving. That was pretty quick. Yeah. I think the other one has the most health, quite frankly. Oh. Don't stand it. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. My shield's winning low. Do I do my combo? There we go. Yeah, I use all my files, but my shield is back up. That's the most important. Okay. Let's get back into the fray. Oh. What? Where are you going? The fight's hit here, buddy. Oof. I think that's, uh, I think that's air pressure. Yeah, it's nothing to do with, um, screeching of that one. That hit? What is a hitbox? Okay. Ooh. Wait! You're leaving again? Okay, this is weird. He's leaving so quickly between fights. Huh, he's never done this before. Not mind complaining. Actually, this could be useful to me. <gasps> yes! He's going in there! Now I'm going to show you guys a really awesome trick. Okay. Basically, um, for some reason, all the Elder Dragons seem to fly towards this little grove, this particular grove, and no other. And the thing is, it's exactly the same pillar. So if you shoot this right here, <laughs> it's get knocked down. I don't know why they always do that, but I'm not complaining, but it's weird. You know? It's all of it. It's not just this one either. It's, um,. Oh, wow, he's already limping. It's probably because I threw entire balls on him, so... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! He's already limping! Alright! That's what I want. I want you to limp. Oh! oh I was trying to flash him! <laughs> I got the wrong one on. I don't need these any... Oh! Actually... No, no, on second floor, if he's limping anyway, yeah, I might as well use the bombs on him then. Ow, Ari. First aid. There we go. Okay, this is going to be good. I'm going to use the mega, I'm going to use the mega barrel bombs. And then I'm going to use my um, finisher to pretty much blow into bits. This is going to be so fun. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stick the flash instead. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so put this here. Yeah, he's pretty weak compared to the other one. Okay, and put back in my mega potions. Uh oh, it's running out now. Okay. <laughs> Take that, you deuce. Okay. Alright, time to carve. As you can see, my shield's about to run out. So while he's here, I'm going to hit his corpse and charge my blade. I have got to show that last time. I'm going to show it this time, though. Definitely. There we are. So. Triangle. Triangle circle. Triangle circle again. 
hard one I mean R2 there we go see there we go and there Gigante is just right there oh and it wore off not that it matters because we're not going to be using it now can I eat again? yes I can and again let's go straight to our defenses Again, you need a bit of practice with this, guys, as well. I'm making this look easy. It really isn't. You really gotta be in your A game here, guys. It's, it's no joke. Uh, Vitality Vant Mantle. And let's see. Restock my Mega Potions. And also uh, this. Actually, when it comes to Nogagante. I want to make sure I have my flashes on at all times because the thing is you do not want him to uh, retreat as it were back to his lair because that's pretty bad because that's really use that dive bomb attack a lot more often and it is not fun at all so you should just fly around here just gotta wait for him now And if we're going to wait for him, we might as well do it while I have this. Oh, really? All right, fine. Well, I might as well charge up my sword. Advantage. Do, 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 do. Remember, if you want to go straight into your axe mode, there it is. There he is. That's right. Come down. Now! No, no, now. Ha! You're always work on me! Oh, this is much better. Oof. Okay, uh, no, wrong one. There we are. Pop his mantle. There we go. See, he's taking damage to me, but the thing is, I'm not staggered. It's kind of like that flinch free skill at level 3, except it's for any damage, not this small amount of damage, which is uh, great. There we go. That's a sliding move. Oh, uh oh. My shield's winning out again. No, that was a shockwave. And that's the move I want to work out for. There, I was trying to recharge my uh Ah oh, Lanterns went out. Crap. Oof. Yep, went out. Damn it. Alright, time for the other mantle, mantle the vitality one. This means that I don't take damage the same amount of time.
no, 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 no. Damn it, he's retreating. Ah. Yeah, he's the weakest, but unfortunately, ah, Gray's retreating. That's not what I wanted. Crap. I didn't want him to retreat that quickly. Oh, great. Now it's going to be the pity boss very more often. And my mantles don't have, are still there, so that's not good. Okay. Time for Mega Barrel Bombs. Okay, then the best I can do is to strike with uh, my Charge Blade instead. Where is it? Mega Potions. There we go. He's gonna fly now. Yep. He's gonna fly. Pick the worst time to. Oh, come on. Perfect. Good thing is, no, Gonti is the weakest. That's why it didn't take long to beat him. Oh boy. But yeah, but I was panicking there, thinking I was making some mistakes. I'm so glad I did well on that. Oh, I didn't die either once. That was a nice bonus. And with that, I am now done with the toughest hunt in the game. I'm not doing Monster Hunter World, not by a long shot. There's still that new monster, um, the Dalvija, who's, who's coming uh, this week. I will show off that, folks, definitely. But not, but pretty tough indeed. I know it seems tempting to bring friends of you, but to fight three of these in time, unless you know, unless you call it well, doing it with randoms is not a good idea. Just practice. That's the only thing I can tell you guys. Practice makes perfect. Oh, wait, I got a gem. Oh, it's the Astra gem. I actually have a <laughs> well, they have three of those, but more the better. <laughs> nice. And that's a voucher bonus. There we go. Not to be taken lightly. A very tough fight. It took me quite a few tries to record. So so I had to take a few days off while doing something else to just practice a bit with my weapons. Yeah. But you see, yeah, but Doyo is the most annoying because it's wind attacks. That's how I was cussing at the beginning. <laughs> but there we go. That's it. Now, just like with the Winds of the New World, you get everyone. Yeah, get, you got a bunch of exclamation points, pretty much t talking to everyone, saying that you're amazing, congratulations, blah blah blah. But it's mostly just for bragging rights, really. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't really get any, like, decorations or something. But if you look down here now, you're an exclamation point. And I think a whole bunch of appear as well after you're done, so... Let's talk to the captain now we're finished. By the Sapphire Star. Fine work. Congratulations on completing the Sapphire Star's guidance. The other dragon is supposed to be the pinnacle of the kind of natural world. But you rose above them, like a star to the heavens. You created your own light instead of following others. 
The guild would like to honor you deeds with a special title, henceforth be known as the Sapphire Star. One heck of a monster hunter. I believe now that calling you here to the new world will end will be my great achievement. I salute you, Sapphire Star. And um, after pretty much everyone congratulates you afterwards, so that's where that's where it's coming from. The old man told me everything. What are you? <laughs> I count myself looks have living time of a hunter that's flown as high as you. Very figurative and nearly. What's gonna what are you gonna do next? What do you want to do? <laughs> are you gonna head deep into the new world? See what other secrets you can dig up? <laughs> I bet you find or if you find them all. Just try to say something for other hunters. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. No promises. <laughs> See, you get a whole bunch of points now. Pretty similar to the white minions in the new world. I'm not going to talk to everyone. I'm going to do that like pretty much off screen. It's just everyone that um, pretty much congratulates you and stuff. I'm going to do it pretty much the main characters. Eh, I hope you talk to the hand a little bit. Well, there we go. Ugh. It was a bit tough, but I did it. I'm not going to do any more there. Uh, I could do another hunt now, but no, I'm a bit stressful after that, and I don't want to jinx this by going through a bad hunt. But, yep. See, everyone wants to talk to you now because of how amazing you did. Let's talk to the handler. Oh! Everyone, may I have your attention? Listen up, everyone. My partner, totally, totally wrecked the quest of Sapphire Star's guidance. That makes him the commission Sapphire Star, and that makes me the Sapphire's uh, something. You'll never figure that later. <laughs> I knew my part was destined for great things. My gosh, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but, um, here we are. That's it. I am never doing that again. Not really much of a point, really. Worst part is, even though you're fighting tempered monsters, you don't get any decorations for it. Because when you fight tempered investigations, you get decorations. You don't even get that as a reward, which kind of sucks, really. You think you get at least one decoration or something, but you don't. Which is kind of frustrating, really, since they're tempered drag elder dragons. So, you know, again, what the hell? But, whatever, it's just for dragon lights. So, there we go. Take a ton of practice. Just practice with other tempered elder dragon investigations. Do it solo as well. And find what weapon works for you. There are probably people out there that have done this like much quicker, had much better times and stuff. So and I am no expert guys, so you know. It does take practice. That's what I did. I fought a bunch of elder dragons, practiced, practiced, and practiced. So this is you know is free. Val Hazak, although tough, to be honest, I don't really find that difficult. Once you have free mares with decorations, that's the only reason why I consider tough. Once they have those on, then the rest of it doesn't really feel that difficult, to be honest. I don't really feel that t tough, because that's the only problem. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, next time, I guess we're attacking a new DLC with the, um, with the Deviger. That giant dinosaur monster, which never stops eating. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoy this, and just keep at it. It is possible to do this eventually. You just have to get a ton of practice, but it is possible. If I can do it, you can do it. So, you know, don't give up hope. But, there we go. Hope you guys in, um, enjoyed this uh, video of me tackling the Sapphire Star's Guidance. But with that, it's Massim347. Going to the Armature the Platformer. Stay classy. Whew, I can't believe I actually did it. <laughs>